Um, I've got here my next project, which is a soy fiber wig. Um, I talked a little bit about it the other day and thought I would show you where I'm at with all that. So I've got my... Oh, I forgot to mention this in the when I was showing these off in my last video. Um, also perfect for using to as a working stand for wig making. Um, yes. Way better than what I was using. Works perfect for that. So um, this is my Pasha Pasha Pulse, who is my subject here. Um, this is a, for a commission, not for myself, but um, but it's, it is for a Pasha Pasha doll. So she is my base. Um, just her head cap on there now. This one is a hard cap. Um, so I've got a non-stretch fabric um, on there. Um, because it's a short style, it needs to be really firm and actually be hard. Um, you know, a lot of people say hard caps, but then they have still have some stretch to it. But this is going to be a legit hard cap, um, so that everything's going to sit real nice and close to the face. Um, so that's where I'm at there. Um, and then, so I was talking about dyeing this. Uh, when I was talking about the fibers the other day, so I'm gonna show just kind of. I've I've got several different stages here because I didn't use all my fiber and I haven't finished combing what I did dye. So, so this is how it comes. Um, this is the roving uh, when you order soy silk, um, which is I mean, it's not silk at all, soy fiber, um, but it's you know in this big long rope, a uh, rov uh, roving. Um, but the fiber is, sadly, not actually that long at all. Um, you get your roving and then you start pulling and that's not even, it's not even that long, it's about half that long. So you just keep pulling it until you get the actual length of the fiber in here. Um, which is, that's about where that is now, it's just a matter of lining it all up now. Um, so that's how you get your roving into the actual fiber length that you're going to be able to use. So um, it's pretty short, but it is a very nice fiber. I love the the feel to it. It's it's very soft, but it's also very. I feel like the right word is sticky, but it's not not like you know sticky like glue or something sugary, but but it it's very sticky in that it it like clings to itself and if you try to you know shape it or mold it it kind of stays where you put it kind of whatever you do with it um it it kind of moves like a um like if you have a yarn wig or um or a faux fur where it just kind of stays where you put it, um, but it's much kind of softer, and and of course it's a natural fiber, which you know I way prefer over like acrylic or um, or the other thing I just said, which was oh faux fur, whatever that is, polyester, I, I imagine. So, anyways, that is how that started with. Um, and this is, that, that was just a piece I had done before, but this was my test piece to see when I was trying to figure out what fiber to use for this wig, because um, the customer just sent me a picture and wanted me to, you know, recreate that look, a picture of a, a human wig. Um, so it's, it, and it had this very distinctive 1940s style, which is very close to the head and then has this giant roll. So I tested a whole bunch of fibers um, with the curling iron and styling products and stuff trying to figure out what was going to be able to hold that shape. Um, and this certainly is because this was about a month ago now that I made this and it's still like perfectly in that shape. So um, kind of an idea what that is going to look like here. Get that in my hand. It's about like that, where it's going to be 
obviously this is not all going to be here. <laughs> be nice and slick and tight to the head. It's not at all a poofy style. But then it's got this kind of swoop in and then this big like barrel curl. Um, and that just that one big curl just kind of goes all the way around the head. It's a very interesting, very interesting style. Um, so that was my practice to say yes, indeed, I can get that shape out of this fiber. So then the next step was dyeing it. Um, let me put this back in the bag before I make a mess of it. Um, I got that from um, uh, La Laughing Lamb Fibers. Laughing Lamb. Yeah, LaughingLambFibers.com. Um, I got, they've got a bunch of different things. I also got some like um, bamboo and I don't know what else. Where did I get? There's my box. Uh, I think, oh, I got silk. I think I got bamboo and, and like actual silk fibers from them. So, anyways, so next step was dyeing it. Um, and you just use um, acid dyes to dye it, same as you would use on. Um, animal fibers like uh, mohair and wool and whatnot. But once you pull it out of the dye bath, it doesn't look so pretty. Um, that's what it looks like coming out of the dye bath. And mm, maybe it doesn't look so scary online, but well, maybe I shouldn't put that away yet. The difference was a little alarming. I was I was I was a bit worried <laughs> when I pulled it out of the the bath and it looked like it did so um, there we go nice and silky smooth and shiny and this came out looking like a ratty knotted up mess um colors right though <laughs> so that was a little alarming um but when i was researching how to dye it i did i did see that, that was that was how it comes out. So it was like, I, I, I knew I hadn't messed anything up, but it was still, still a little alarming. Um, so, now what you do with this is the same thing as I was just doing with the roving. You just start pulling it apart until it looks nice. <laughs> um, so, let me grab a piece here. Yeah, there's a crusty looking, not so cute piece. Just grab the ends and pull. Line up the ends, pull again, and line up the ends, and pull again, and you just keep doing this until you got all of the fibers together at the right, I mean at the same length. I mean the fibers are a set length, so, so all you're doing here is trying to, you know, get them to where they're lined up, all the the tips and the bottoms are all lined up to the same length. So, but you can see like what a huge improvement that is already. Um, so you, you wouldn't want to try try doing this while it was still wet, but now that it's dried, even though it looked worrying, it um, it's just a matter of pulling and lining it up and pull and line it up. And you just keep doing that till you got it all, all in a nice little row. And then once I got it like that, I would actually run through it with a comb, just hold real tight on one end and comb through it and get any last little bits. Cause see, I mean, this has a couple little, little chunky knotted up bits in there. Um, so going through it with a comb would, would get all those little, little bits like that that are, you're not going in there, but. There it is looking nice and smooth and soft and nice and shiny again. And that just took me a couple, couple like, I don't know, like a minute. I didn't look at the time um, to go from that to that again. So that was quite a relief that that came together so well. So now I've got, I haven't, I haven't combed this all out, but I've got, you know, a nice big pile to work with in the right color. It did take me a couple of dye baths to get it to that right color. Um, I've got, I do have a piece here that I've combed. Try to grab a hold of it. 
kind of stick into everything. I had all of the other stuff on top of it. So here's here's a piece that's all nice and combed out and ready to use. Um, so there's no little chunky bits or anything left in there. And yeah, it looks really nice now. So that will be going on this girl in that uh, weird curl bobby style. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, I probably won't get any further on this tonight. I've got, um, I got stuff to do. <laughs> I was going to go into whatever else, but it's, it's completely and all related. And, um, yes, I have things I need to do tonight unrelated to dolls. So, um, I might, I'll probably do another layer, um, I, so I use different kinds of glues depending on how you want your wig to turn out. If you need a little, want to retrain a little bit of stretch, um, you can use um, tacky glue or um, I actually prefer fabric glue um, because it's, it retains the stretch but it also is waterproof. Um, unlike tacky glue, tacky glue is water based so if you use that you can't get the wig wet. So I like to use fabric glue because then I can, you can get the, the wig wet um, and it has a bit of stretch. But um, for one that I, I want to be a actual hard cap, um, excuse me, like this one, uh, where I want the, the wig cap to really hold its shape and I want to make sure that it doesn't stretch out at all, um, wood glue is actually um, a super option for that. Uh, it, it, uh, like Tacky Glue, it is not waterproof though, um, is the problem there. Um, but it dries really nice and hard, um, so it makes a nice little like hard cap that kind of snaps into place. Um, so that's a really good option for uh, for short styles in particular. Um, short or close styles. Anything that's big and poofy and it's got a lot of volume, um, you can easily do a, you know, a stretchy style cap and, and, and um, oh, that's all going to be hidden, but something to sit nice and close to the head. I really like doing an actual hard cap. Um, but so to get around the fact that it's not waterproof, um, I started with a coat of the fabric glue and saturated the fabric in fabric glue. This is just, um, um I'm just using white, like a white muslin, actually, as the fabric base here. Um, again, because I didn't want to stretch, so it's just a, like a white cotton fabric, and it's kind of, um, I don't know if you can see that at all. Um, kind of a... Uh, I don't know what that... I, I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> There's, uh, you know, pieces that overlap because it's a round head and a non-stretchy fabric, so you end up kind of... Um, you gotta cut different... cut little wedges of the fabric out and then overlap the edges and everything, so... Um, sorry. Saturated the fabric in a layer of fabric glue to make it waterproof from the bottom. Um, and then after that dried, I covered it with a layer, a real nice thick layer of the wood glue to give it that hard hardness and stability. Um, and I'm going to do a second coat of the wood glue to really reinforce that. And um, then after that's dry, I'm going to do a fourth coat of glue um, and go over it again with the fabric glue to kind of make a waterproof layer again to seal the the water soluble wood glue into the middle of all that and then when I um, glue the fiber on I'll use the fabric glue um, I just need those layers of wood glue in the in the center for the stability so so there's gonna be four layers of glue in the cap um, and then all the glue to glue the hair on too but in the end it'll be nice and firm and kind of a snap-on wig um, and also be waterproof. Although now that I think about it, waterproof probably isn't necessary with this style because it's going to be curled with an iron and really set in place with hairspray and product and stuff. So if they get it wet, they're going to completely destroy the style. So maybe I don't need to worry about being waterproof. That had not occurred to me. Hmm. Well, anyways, um, so 
wow, I got off track. The, the point was, <laughs> I'm going to do another layer of glue tonight. Um, that's probably all I'll work on yet tonight. And then set that aside and do my other non-doll business for the evening. And um, we'll actually see about making some progress actually gluing the hair on. Um, probably tomorrow night. Um, and then that, I am working on some stockings. Um, to go along with a certain, certain, certain corset that I'm getting ready to ship out. Um, so I had to pattern those out, um, and then I've got another piece or two that I'm work also working on to go along with that. Um, and, and that's all. I think that's that's the last kind of piece I've got there, um, and. And I've got one more face up. Um, the uh, the one I sh I yeah I showed you where I did the mods um, and carved out the jaw. Oh, that's right, because I was like pulling at my face and looking really stupid like this. Um, carved out the jaw. And this is this is my the jaw. These are cheekbones. Carved out the cheekbones. Carved down the jawline. Made the chin more shapely. Carved in here. Um, anyways, I, I showed that head a few videos ago. Um, that one I'm also working on it right now. That's the only face up I'm working on right now. So um, these are my projects for the rest of the week. I'm planning on getting all of these things shipped on Monday and then it's on to the next batch of things. But so yeah, I am out. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully.